Hello, third graders. We all know what rules are. Rules are something that you follow in order to make sure you're doing something right. So today what we're going to talk about for math is we're going to talk about how we use rules in math to get the right answer. So today um, what we are going to start to do is we are going to be talking about rules with in and out boxes. And I know that you guys have seen in and out boxes before. I'm going to try and move this so the light is not reflecting on there quite so badly. So you'll be able to see it a little bit better about what I'm doing. So um, we're going to start by looking at this math problem that's going to show us how to use rules with in and out boxes. So our math focus today is I can describe and apply single operation input output rules involving addition and subtraction to solve problems. So that's what we're going to be working with this morning. So let's look first at the problem, the real life problem that we are going to be using. It says, um, so I, when you, you do this, I kind of want you to imagine um, building triangles with straws or with toothpicks. That's probably the easiest way to put it. Baja is building five separate triangles with straws. The first triangle used three straws, and the second used another three straws. How many straws does she need to make five triangles? So remember my rule, my other rule before we talk about the definition of rules. My other rule is that we always make sure that we read a word problem at least twice to really get to make sure that we understand what the question is looking for and that we have the numbers right and we know what operation we're going to use. So let's do it again. Baja is building five separate triangles with straws. The first triangle used three straws and the second used another three, three straws. How many straws does she need to make five triangles? So I'm looking here, I'm going to just really kind of make a mark here because this is telling me right here, I want, we're looking for how many straws does she need to make five triangles. And we know that each triangle uses three straws. So we need to think about how many straws do we need to make five triangles. So let's look at what I wrote here about rules. So the number of straws Baja uses follows a pattern. A rule tells you what to do to the first number to get to the second. So right here, you're going to see what's an in and out box, which is what we're going to be working with for the next couple of days. Um, at the beginning, when we're not figuring out what the rule is, we are just what's called applying the rule. We're going to be using the rule. So the first thing we look for is, does the in and out box give us a rule? And yes, this in and out box does give us a rule. The rule is add three. So on this in and out box chart, one side is the number of triangles, and I can even put a little S here, a number of triangles, and the other side is the number of straws that we're using. So you can see when we have one triangle, we're using three straws. When we have two triangles, we're using six straws. When we have three triangles, we're using nine straws. So our next question is this. How many, we, we, are, we don't really need to know how many, um, we, part of our answer is we don't really necessarily need to know how many straws we need for four triangles, but we need to know how many straws we need for five triangles. Sorry about the font. So what we're going to do first, though, is we're going to look for this rule or pattern. It says add three. So our rule right here is add three. This is actually not the right rule. I just realized this. I wrote this down. It's not add three. This is embarrassing, but this is just sometimes the way it goes. The rule is times three. Sorry about that. So if we have one triangle, we have to multiply it by three, and then we get the number of straws. So if we have two triangles, we multiply two by three, and we get where we know we'll use six straws. If we have three triangles, we multiply it times three, because each triangle uses three straws. So three times three is nine. So if we have four triangles, we would multiply four times three, and that would give us 12 straws that we would use. And if we have five triangles, we would say 
we need to multiply that times 3, and that would give us 5 times 3 is 15. So now we have to come back to our word problem, which is how many straws does she need to make 5 triangles? And our answer is 15 straws. So today, really, we are going to be focused on following the rules that you are going to see with your in and out boxes. So your first job is to look at the rule, and your next job is to apply the rule to the first number of the in and out box to get the out number. So in the next few days, we're going to be exploring what's it like if we don't have a rule, how do we do that, and how do we work backwards from the rule. But today, your job is to just work on following the rule for the in and out boxes. Have a great day, third graders.